in my work, I, I see students who know what good nutrition looks like, but it's how to do it piece that is challenging. And so um, what this workshop is all about is trying to be really efficient um, with cooking and also doing it in, in a balanced way where you're not eating the same things over and over again. Uh, so we're going to talk a little bit about the benefits of healthy eating and what that looks like and how you go about doing it. This is something my plate, we'll get to. <clears throat> And then uh, also some barriers to healthy eating, so like financial barriers, anything, just like stuff that people see every day and they feel like they can't eat healthy. And then uh, understanding how my plate works and also how to help eat on a budget. My plate uh, took the place of the food pyramid a few years ago, and the idea was that the food pyramid didn't really show a good balance of what your meal should look like, it just gave a bunch of information that people didn't really understand and it showed up stuff in like different portions and just, it didn't do the job right. And so this uh, this was created by MyPlate.gov and they uh, <coughs> kind of show you a plate and show you what it should look like. Focusing on uh, your portion controls. So, you know, a lot of people, you know, they like steak, so they get a big, huge steak, takes up the whole plate and then you know, piece of chocolate, piece of carrot. Like, oh, I have all three food pieces, but you know, <laughs> you don't. So actually controlling it and making sure it looks right on the plate. So breaking it up into small meals, uh, you can bring it in a little dish or get it somewhere on campus and you can also have snacks throughout the day. So maybe you maybe you only have time for one or two meals, but you have three or four snacks that you have every couple hours throughout the day. That's a way to break up your different food groups in different meals. Um, we have some shopping tips. Um, so when you're going to the store uh, to buy groceries, uh, you really want to, you can kind of see how it's outlined. Um, a lot of stuff in the middle uh, has a lot, of, a lot of preservatives and it's really processed and it's usually the most expensive. Uh, so you generally stay away from the middle of the store and stay out north near the aisles where you're getting your fresh fruits and the vegetable aisle. And then also uh, buying uh, fruits and vegetables, fresh fruits and vegetables in season uh, is a good way to save money because when things are in season, you usually have a lot more of them at the store, so it's usually cheaper. Uh, the thing about uh, uh, dining out is that your serving sizes will be a bit larger compared to what you would eat on a regular basis. So what you would want to do is uh, you know, try to spread that serving size. So the first couple of things on the ingredient list is the most abundant. So if you see sugar, sodium salt, or high fructose syrup, you should stay away from it because it's not healthy. And also to limit your sodium intake because it can lead to like high blood pressure and also limit trans fat because it can also lead to urinary heart disease. So let's start with the onion first. So this is the way that um, I personally like to perfect cut an onion. Um, so what I'm going to do is, um, so we have the stems on either side here. Um, and so I'm going to just cut it right down the middle like that. Okay. But for a nice dice, you're just going to take it like this and you're going to score the onion like this. So scoring means you're not cutting all the way through. You're just chopping most of the way down here. And I'm going to turn it like this. Handed. Okay, so we're not chopping, I have to chop all the way through, but for the most part, you're just scoring it, so you're just chopping into it. I'm going to turn it on its side, and so the marks are this way. I'm going to turn it on its side, and then I'm going to chop all the way down. Um, the other piece with chopping is if you think, put your fingers like this, you're never going to cut yourself because the knife's going to stop before your fingers hit it. So if we chop down like this, you can see that I'm getting a really, really, really nice dice here. Let's say you wanted to just do for a stir fry though, um, that would be a lot simpler. So you could just cut into it like this, um, cut the ends off, of course, and then just make little sections like that. And then you would, this would be really good for like a, a stir fry because they're a little bit bigger. Okay, so now we're going to do an avocado. So this is something you guys are actually going to be able to do at your stations. I have butter knives there. Um, and so if you have any trouble cutting into it initially, let me know and I'll come back and cut it for you. Um, but basically what you're going to do is, again, just kind of um, cut it lengthwise and what you're, you're going to go all the way around it like this. And then when you open it, cut it here. And so what you're going to do with your butter knife then is cut into it like this. So you're not going all the way through, you're just cutting little sections here. And then I have a spoon in each one of your stations. Um, and then you just scoop it out just like this. And so it makes nice little um, sections like this. And these are great for putting on sandwiches. Like instead of mayonnaise, you can put these on there. This is really high in monounsaturated fats, which are really good for your heart. Um, they also have a lot of fiber, and so that provides filling power for your lunches. Like that. <laughs>
So this is a really quick and easy way to be efficient, but also feel like you're getting some variety in your week. 